other assignment right now. I okay. Uh, left over assignment. Then I'll come to the early assignment later. Okay, okay. Ahmed, Ahmed, usually your voice does not come very clear in the class. Right now it is okay. But usually many times you try to answer while in, uh, while the class is going on. You try to answer some of the questions. But then I don't get to hear that properly. So the, uh, so in that case, you are missed from the discussion. Okay, Ahmed. So in short, like if you are having network issues or like issue in the mic, please do get fixed at. Okay, Ahmed. So you're up now. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, or usually try to like answer uh, in the in the mic okay like when the one which i'm having like i do normally speak into this uh, into this mic basically okay anyways so exercise 20.3 okay let's start doing this one and in fact we did solve question number one question number two also we did that right now question number three i think we were supposed to be doing that right so start from question number three. Okay. The question here is, shows that there's a pentagonal shaped part has been shown here. And Jyoti and Kavita, they have divided it in two different ways. And we need to find the area of this part in the two ways. Right? So question looks good. Not too complicated. You can actually do this one. Okay now. Okay, start solving question number three. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Here, Arham. Walling Islam. How are you? I'm good, sir. Arham, we did uh, in the last class of mathematics, we did question number two. Now, up till there, we have covered, we are doing question number three right now. Okay. Yes, sir. So, do this one. You also do this one. We are left with only one or two questions from the RD Sharma book. Okay, now yes, uh, of this exercise. And I told you, like, now we'll be beginning with the next part of the chapter. Uh, the Adi Sharma, that is the volumes of cubes and cubites. Okay, now. Yes, sir. So, Will you guys uh, do? Uh, yeah. Uh, when are we going to start uh, like other chapters? Like once we will be done with uh, all the questions. Okay, then we will begin with the new uh, new chapter also. So what will be the next chapter? The next chapter, like this chapter, which I picked, it was uh, according to choice of you guys. So... You guys tell no, me. Sir, uh, next chapter, uh, we will, a uh, new chapter. New chapter. Uh, guys, we have actually covered the whole syllabus now. So you have done uh, square and square roots? Yeah. Square oh. and square roots, cube and cube roots. Those chapters have been actually completed. Okay. Okay. But uh, Arham, if you want to have classes scheduled for those chapters, that can also be done for you. Okay, now. Yes, sir. As my uh -huh. next exam is uh, on 13th, math mm -hmm. exam. So in that, a square and square okay. root chapter is coming. Square and square roots. Okay, let me yes, note sir. that down. What is the syllabus? Do tell me. Uh, for maths? Yeah, for the for your upcoming only exam. One, yeah. uh, uh, PT3, only one, uh, one chapter. 83 only one chapter that is a square and a square roots and uh, when is this pt3 uh, 30 uh, 13th of november 13th of november okay almost after two weeks okay yes, <laughs> okay so square and a square roots that's not a very lengthy chapter okay no. uh we will cover that try to cover that in one or two class okay now Yes, sir. So I will have that uh, that uh, class schedule for you. Okay, it's good that you inform me that. Good. Yes, sir. Okay, now, uh, will you guys do one thing? Quickly take the screenshot of question number three, four, and five, all three. Okay. Yes, sir. I actually need to open the other slide. Okay, now. Done, where I have questions from um, cube and cubites. 
so that will take hmm. a bit of one or two minutes so please take the screenshot ahmed yes, and aram both of you yes sir done okay okay also once you guys are done do send me the photo of the solution also okay yes, okay because just telling me the answer won't do any more you guys will have to send the solutions also yes, okay Sir, I should do which one? You should also do the third, fourth, and fifth, and all three questions. You also have to do them. Okay. Okay. By the way, Ahmed, which chapter is currently going on in your school? We are Ahmed. Which chapter is currently going on in your school? Uh, algebraic expressions. Sir. Algebraic expressions. Okay. Recently, you guys have also given test from the same chapter. Yes, sir. Right now. Okay. So. Hey, is my video on? Okay, let me check that. No, Aram, your video is not on. <clears throat> so uh, I switched to photos for uh, as I take the, I took the screenshot, so my video will not be on. Okay, no issue, no issue in that. Okay, now. Okay, you guys will be able to see my screen in just a moment. Let me actually have the PDF of the exercise. I. Try to find that, but I was unable to get that. Just now, I have got that. Okay. Yes, sir. And what about you, Aram? Which chapter is going on in your school? Uh, sir, maths uh, right now. Uh, square and square roots. Square and square roots. Yes, sir. Only one okay. exercise is remaining. Only one exercise is remaining. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. What's the square of twenty-two? Um, twenty-two. Mm -hmm. So I only learned till twenty. Okay. What is the square of nineteen? Nineteen is. Three eighty one, mm -hmm. three sixty one, three sixty one. Okay, seventeen. Uh, seventeen is two eighty nine. Eighteen. Uh, three twenty four. Yeah, you guys are done with any of the questions? Um, no, sir. Okay, please do solve them quickly. Hmm. Yeah, hope my screen is visible now. Okay, yeah. Question number three. Anyone of you who has done? No. Sir. No. Why you guys are taking so much time? Question here is that it's a pentagonal pentagonal shaped park having five sides, and yes. the dimensions are also provided over here. So, Kavita and Jyoti have Jyoti have divided into into this manner. 
and also later on question asks that can we suggest some another way of finding its area first let's find the area using these two methods look yes. over here so consider jyoti's diagram over here this distance will also be how much this one this one this one 30 30 meter okay so now we have got two figures the whole figure has been divided into two parts and both of them are actually representing a what a rhombus uh, a kite trapezium actually good both of them are trapezium now right now ahmed now we have got the measurements of the opposite sides also as 15 and 30 cm right yes sir so we will consider first of all only one part one one part of the figure only one trapezium right and do we also not have uh can we also not take this uh, as also like 7.5 meter can i not take this one yes, 7.5 7.5 because the figure looks like it has been divided from the metals right now so it will be mm -hmm. 7.5 so you have got the height and the measurement of the opposite uh, sides also so what's stopping you guys from getting the answer right huh so it's half into here yeah, 45 Under into 37.5 upon 2 You're getting how much? Three hundred thirty-seven point five upon two. Upon two. Three hundred thirty-seven point five upon two. You will hmm. be getting that for one part of the trapezium, for just one trapezium. Okay. But there hmm. are two identical trapeziums. So just multiply hmm. it with yes, two now. Two. Yes, sir. Anyways, let let's do it. Okay, Ahmed. So it will be thirty-seven point. Five multiplied by uh thirty plus fifteen. Okay, let's just simply multiply forty five with thirty seven point five, and then later on we can divide it with ten. Okay, so forty five multiplied thirty seven point five. That gives you how much? Anyone who has done it, or we will have to do it then. Three seven five multiplied forty five first. Don't take the decimal fractional part. So five five so twenty five five two. Thirty-seven, eighteen over here, right now. Yes, sir. Eight will be fifteen. Yeah, that is it. What we will be getting now? Okay, and then <coughs> divide by hundred. Divide by hundred. One point seven five. Hmm. So one sixty-eight point seven five. And then this is the area of one of the trapezium, but there are two such trapeziums, so it has to be multiplied with two, and that will actually lead you to three hundred and thirty-seven point five square meter. Yes, sir. Getting it, both of you. <clears throat> Now look at the another uh, diagram, Kavita's diagram. Yeah, Ahmed, are you in the class? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Please do not whether it's. Uh, whether you are agreeing to whatever we are discussing or not, I mean to say, like, <clears throat> just oh. keep saying, like, yes, yeah, sir, I'm getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm having confusion like this. Okay, now, so that I get to know that you are also participating. Kavita's diagram. So here it has been divided into a rectangle and a triangle. Hmm. That one is also easy. Yes. The diagram is uh, self-explanatory. Do we need to explain this one? Like this one is going to be fifteen. This one is also fifteen. Two twenty-five. Uh, the the triangle will be two twenty five point two, right? And this will be half into fifteen into fifteen, right? Two twenty five point two. So then hmm. add these two, that will give you the final answer, right? Hmm. Okay. So that was not a very lengthy question. Moving on to question number four. Okay. Yeah. Look this one. Do I need to explain this one, or you guys? Actually, you guys try this one first. Okay. Hmm. Now. Okay. Yes. How do you solve this? 
<laughs> yeah, Ahmed, any clue? <laughs> First, read the question, both of you, <clears throat> and see what are the values given in here. <clears throat> we can do one thing. We can draw a bigger diagram. For mm. for convenience, we can draw a bigger diagram here. Okay. <clears throat> this line, this line over here, and then this, and it's a little bit deformed. It is supposed to be like this. Look over here. Hmm. Now look here. <clears throat> what are the values given in the question, guys? The measurement of which sides are given? So, First uh, of all, AL is given. Hmm, AL is forty-five. Ten, ten, ten. AL here is ten centimeter. Then Ahmed, AB, AM is given, right? Yes, A, this is L. Actually, this is M. So yes. AM total measures how much? This one measures twenty, right? So the measurement of AM is twenty. The measurement of AL is ten, so can't I say that AM minus AL will make will be uh, will be giving you LM that is also going to be ten? Hmm. Look over here. This LM is going to ten now because the whole length is twenty. That is clear. Yes, Next, AN is also given as fifty centimeter. Hmm. AN starting from A to here N, so that much of distance is fifty centimeter. Yes, sir. Right. So M N will be what if A N oh, is fifty centimeter, right? So M N would be thirty centimeter because fifty minus twenty uh, that will be thirty over here. Then A O is given as sixty centimeter. A O where are we at? We are here. So if A O is sixty centimeter and A N is fifty centimeter, so N O will be ten centimeter. Exactly. So N O or O N will be ten centimeter. Now, talking about E D, E D that is this whole length 90. that has been provided as provided as ninety. So since E D is ninety, so can't I say that O P will be how much? Ninety minus ninety minus thirty. Ninety minus sixty. That is thirty. Yes, sir. Very good. So O P now we know it. This one is thirty. Okay, let me write it with different color. And I know we know that it is ten. M N also we know that M N is how much? Thirty centimeter. Yes, sir. Right now, this is all we know so far. Right now, mm -hmm. later on, the length of forty two is also given like sixty. This is twenty, thirty, and then forty. Yes, sir. Let's complete the name of the figure also. A F E. B, C, and B. Now the question asks you to find the area of this whole parallelogram. See the par this whole uh, polygon actually not parallelogram has been divided into what figures? Firstly, can we spot two trapezoids in this? Um, no sir. Trapezoids? Is there no trapezoid in it? Yeah, Ahmed, what do you what do you think? Yes. Are there no trapezoids in this polygon? What about this figure over here? Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Does sir. that not look like a trapezoid? Right now, yes, B, sir. L, and or C, O are the opposite and par parallel yes, lines. M, O, E, F, as well. Exactly. Hmm. And Ahmed, how many triangles are there in it? There are four, four triangles in now, right? This one, this one, this one, and this one. So, and do we have bases of all the triangles? We have the base of this triangle, AM, 
We have oh, found the measurement of AM. We have found the measurement of AL also. Yes, we sir. have found the measurement of OD also. In fact, hmm. OD, yeah, OD. Where, 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 where is it? Where is it? No, we haven't found out that yet, no. So OD is thirty centimeter. OD, uh, where did I wrote that? Yeah, OB. It is actually D. Hey, you know, many P C consider it. Yes, it is OD actually. OD is thirty centimeter. So we have okay. measurements of the bases of all the triangles also. Consider this uh, Andy right now. So Andy can also be taken over here. So Andy is going to be how much? Thirty plus ten. That is or D N if I were to say. This much measures thirty, while this yes, much sir. measures ten. So thirty plus ten that is going to be forty. So we have bases of all the triangles. We have got the height out. also. You guys can do it now, right now. Yes, sir. Also, like for the trapezium, M O E F. Do we not have the measurement of M O also? Yes, sir. Right, where is it? M O. No, we haven't. Calculated that, so amo will be what? M n plus n o, m n is thirty, yes. and hmm. n o is n o, ten. So thirty plus ten that will be the 40. measurement of amo. That is again forty. So we have all the necessary things. You guys can do it now. So I will be leaving that question after the class. Make sure you guys solve it. Okay. Hmm. Now for question number five. That is a regular hexagon. So regular hexagon. What does it mean? The one. Sir, it, has, hmm? it has six yeah. sides. Any hexagon has six sides. Hmm. But what does it uh, mean when I say it's a regular hexagon? Uh, sir, it's um. Uh, all uh, the. All, all the lines are sides are not curved lines. Why are you talking about curved lines, sir? I'm now regular. Like we have examples of regular polygons and irregular polygons. Hmm. Huh? If you guys remember, both of you. Hmm. <clears throat> we did talked about what a regular polygon and irregular polygon. What do we differentiate from the two figures over here? That in the case of regular polygons, all the sides and Equal. All the angles are equal. While in the case of irregular polygons, neither the angles, neither the sides are equal. Yes, and then, considering the number of sides a polygon has, we have got like quadrilaterals, we have got hmm. pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, right? Yes, but then there can be a hexagon that could be having sides like this also. Okay, that is also a hexagon. As a matter of fact, that is also a hexagon. Hmm. But the measurement of the sides and the angles they are not equal to each other. Yes, sir. All right now. So that is why we call the one which is having the equal measurement of sides and angle as regular, while the one that is having unequal that is called as irregular <laughs> hexagon. <laughs> Yes, now back to what we were talking about. <clears throat> Question number five. We were trying to do this one, so hope you guys will be able to do it yourself. Yes, okay, sir. first try to do it yourself, then I will be helping. If you won't be able to solve it, So by the way, uh, you guys tell me 
like any number which will be having one or nine in its unit digit so if i were to try to find the square of that number what would be the unit place of its square look i am saying now if i have numbers like 1 9 11 19 or 21 Okay, मैं इनके स्क्वायर्स फाइंड करता हूँ नॉट द स्क्वायर रूट स्क्वायर सो वॉट वुड बी द्लेस ऑफ दूनिट डिजिट ऑफ दर स्क्वायर दैट विल ऑलवेज बी वन ओके और फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव नंबर लाइक दिस नाउ अहमद यू आर ऑल्सो सपोज टू आंसर दिस अहमद फॉर नंबर लाइक फोर फोर और लाइक सिक्सटीन और लाइक ट्वेंटी फोर उट सिक्स Okay. Anyways, back to our question number five. Solve this one. So the answer is four hundred thirty-two centimeters square. Four hundred and thirty-two square centimeter. Okay, Ahmed, what about you? Also, or okay. we send the pick of the solution. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Ahmed. Doing it. Yes, sir. Okay. Also, uh, this upcoming Thursday, you guys will be having test. Okay, in the science, you guys will be having a test. Okay, from the chapter stars and the solar system. Okay. Yes, sir. It will be of thirty marks. So start preparing for that chapter. Okay. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Sir, I didn't get my um test um like marks for that fortnightly test. Yeah, it, and that will be sent to you today. Okay, now hmm. that will be sent to you today. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, done. Ahmed, done or not? अरहम आपने सेंड कर दिया फोटो नो सर आई विल सेंड यू ऑल टुगेदर आई हैव अगेन सेंड इट ओके 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 शैल आई हेल्प यू गाइस विद दिस क्वेश्चन देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 अहमद या व्हाट्स द अपडेट ओके अरहम एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन देन यस सर explain how you solve this question hello yeah you are audible
अरहम यू आर ऑडिबल टू मी अहमद कैन कैन यू हेयर मी Yeah, you guys can hear me now. I'm audible to you guys. Yes, Ahmed and Arham, I'm audible to you guys or not? Yes. Yeah, please. Audible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was saying that. Uh, Ahmed, are you done with question number five or not? Please do let me know. Yes, I am not. Not okay. Are you able to uh, understand how we are supposed to do this one, or shall I help with you? Help you. Um, can you help, sir? Okay, look here. So what you need to do over here, first look whatever is being provided in the question. So here, basically, the distance from N to Q has been given as twenty three. So that is the distance of. N Q over here. Measurement of N Q has been provided, and also the measurement of O P here is thirteen centimeter. So will this much of distance not equal to five, and yes. this much not also equal to five? Yes, sir. Right. Hmm. And since it's a regular hexagon, so thereby the measurement of each and every side will be thirteen. This will be thirteen. Yes, sir. This will be thirteen. This will also be thirteen, and this will also be thirteen, and so. MR will also be thirteen. So can't I? Now I have got three figures in here. One is the rectangle, right? Well, there are two triangles over here, you know. So okay. for rectangle, it's going to be what length into breadth? That would be the area of the rectangle. So I actually need to have the measurement of this much. What is the measurement okay. of MO for for hmm. that? Why not I just find out what is the measurement of let's name it as K and let's name it as L. What about yes, KO? So KO is in the triangle and KO. Okay. Yes, sir. So in triangle and KO, what do we do? Can I find the measurement of KO by the Pythagoras theorem? It's simple. Yes, so KO will it not be equal to N O square minus N K square? Yes, sir. Q square equals to this. So N O square that is going to be thirteen um, square, isn't it? Yes, sir. Thirteen. And N K here is five square. Thirteen yes, square is how much? Thirteen square is one sixty nine. Minus twenty five. That will be hundred and forty four, and it will actually come under square, square root. So that will be twelve. <laughs> so the measurement of K O is twelve. So the other side that is K M will also be twelve. Yes. Right. Sir. And same goes for these two also, because mm. it has also the same value thirteen and five. Here we have our two will be here be two will. So thereby you have got the base and the height of the triangle and the other side of the rectangle as well. So now it becomes easy. So that is going to be thirteen times twenty four, right yes, now, sir. and two two cancels and base into height simply. So base is how much for the triangle? This. Actually, look over here. Here, 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 M and O for M and O, it's going to be half into base. That is twenty-four into five. Yes, and sir. since they are two such triangles, both are similar, so we can multiply the whole with two. So it will be how much? Two whole times five. That is sixty. Sixty times two. That is going to be one twenty. One twenty plus thirteen times twenty-four. So twenty-four into thirteen. That gives you how much? Quickly. Yes, sir. Will it not be equal to three hundred two all two forty plus seventy two? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Three hundred and two all plus hundred and twenty. So yeah, yes, that sir. is four hundred and 
32 getting it now ahmed arham yes sir. so that is how we solve this right all right then so that is all we need to discuss in this part of the menstruation next we have got the exercise 20.1 in me say few questions out of these are very important so we will not be covering that okay hmm. like question number 1 you all know how to do this one question number 2 you all know how to hmm. do this one okay so we will start solving from question number 3 so question yes. number 3 goes to you arham question number 4 goes to you ahmed okay then again later question will be solved by arham and then again ahmed now quickly start solving at least whatever time we are left with at least let's solve 10 questions in this time yes sir okay Yeah, Ahmed. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Sir, like a uh, one meter equals to one thousand liter. So, how much is one thousand liter in centimeter? Look okay. here. You are doing which question? Question number five now. Oh, five. Not seven. Question number five. You are doing. Hmm. Okay. You know that one. Uh, One liter is equal to how much? Sorry. Uh, here the question is being provided that um, milk container is eight centimeter long, right? Yes, sir. And fifty centimeter wide. So length is eight centimeter, while the width is fifty centimeter. You need to find the height of it yes, so that it can hold four liters of milk. Hmm. Four liters. So we here need to convert uh, the milk, the liter into um, centimeter, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. What we know from it that, like, uh, one liter is equal to how many centimeters? When we convert that into centimeter? Hmm? Yes. One liter is equal to one thousand, one thousand cubic centimeter now. One liter is equal to one thousand cubic centimeter. So, so here, liter, right? no, हम cubic centimeter में बात कर रहे हैं in cube oh. in terms of cubic centimeter. Hmm. So one liter, we know it's one thousand ml. One thousand. Okay. We know it is one thousand ml, but in terms of centimeter or meter, in terms of centimeter, it will be one thousand cubic centimeter. Yes. Sir. So four liter will be four thousand cubic centimeter. So we, you know, the volume of the milk now in cubic centimeter. Okay, thumbs up. We have volume milk here. So now we need to simply find the uh, height hmm. of the container required. So now it can be solved easily then. <clears throat> yeah, Ahmed, you were solving question number four now. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yeah. Having difficulty in that question? No, not at all, sir. So the milk container is a, a cylinder, right? Ha! Huh, basically, it's a having a cylindrical shape. Mm. Okay. Although we have got nothing to do with the shape of the con- container here in the question. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Yeah, uh, which question you are solving right now, uh, Arham? You are solving question number five. Uh, five, five, no? Okay. Just say anyone who's done, please to tell me. Don't take that much of time. Okay, solve the questions quickly. Sir, I'm not able to solve it. Why, Aram? It's a simple question, na? Look here. Both of you, question number five, you are solving, na? Yes, sir. I will come to that question in a moment. First, Ahmed. Uh, regarding question number four, he solved for you. Done. What is the answer you are getting? Ten centimeter height, sir. Ten centimeter, right? So basically, the formula of height is equal. Uh, for, uh, formula of volume is length into breadth into height. And in the question, yes, volume has been already provided in this question. Yes, sir. Yeah, I need to zoom it out. <laughs> So the volume is also brought, already provided in the question, and we need to find the height of the container. So height will it not be equal to volume upon length into breadth, right now? Yes, and in the question, the volume is provided as three hundred cubic centimeters, so three hundred upon ten into five, right? Yes, sir. So that is uh ten and five, or have we taken some different value over here? Six, right? Right. It should be six. Yeah, exactly. Question number four, we are solving now. Ten hmm. centimeter long and five centimeter width, and three hundred cubic centimeter, right? So it has to be six now. Height should be six over here. Ahmed, you got six or ten? Six. Six centimeter. Okay, okay. So six centimeter. That is correct then. Question number five, <clears throat> Arham, you were solving. It would be also solved in the same manner now. Like, आपने four liters of milk को convert कर लिया in terms of cubic centimeter now, right? Oh, okay. So volume will be simply L into B into H, and height will again will be V upon L into B. So volume here is four thousand. Uh, it's four thousand actually over here. So it's going to be four thousand upon L into B. That is eight into fifty. It will be ten, sir. So that will be ten centimeter simply. Yes, sir. So these questions are very simpler in nature. Question number six, Ahmed, you solved that one, and question number uh, seven. Okay, question number seven, both of you can answer. First, answer question number seven, then move on to the respective questions you have been assigned. Yeah, what do you guys think? What will happen to the volume of a cube if its edge is halved? Yeah. If I halve a cube's edges, then what will happen to its volume? <clears throat> yes, it's a simple question. Question number seven is saying that you have got a cube over here. Take a look. Yes, sir. And what I have basically done, I have half. I suppose I have half the measurement of the edges. Now I have reduced it to like this. I have made it shorter. Made it. Suppose. So earlier the volume would have been a cube. Yes, sir. A cube. कैसे था? A multiplied, A multiplied, A. Now what I have done, both of you look here. Now I have half the size of uh, size of the edges. So it will be A upon yes, two. So A upon two multiplied A upon two multiplied A upon two, right? So it's yes, A upon eight. A cube upon yes, eight, है? Right now, or can't I just say like मैं ऐसे भी तो लिख सकता हूँ इसे. A 
a upon a upon two whole cube. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> so if I were to compare it over here, that <coughs> actually a cube upon a two go. Okay. So now, if you were to compare the two volumes, this is a cube, and this is a cube upon eight, right? Mm. Is it not actually one upon eight times of a cube now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Earlier the volume was now was a cube. Now, when the size of the edges were reduced to half, now it's eight times. It has become smaller by eight times, right? Yes, sir. So now the volume will be one eighth. Of the previous volume of it. Yes, sir. Hope that is clear. Now, what if it were to be tripled? Both of you answer this one. Tripled basically means what? Increasing by three times. Okay. okay. I will. I uh, you guys. Okay. Leave all the questions. Leave the other question which you guys were solving. First, do this one. Okay, now. Be a blue ye wale question kena second one. Like earlier, the edges were measuring only a centimeter. Now they have tripled. Tripled basically means becoming thrice. Okay, now it's three a. Now find out what will happen to the volume. Okay. Yes, sir. So find the volume in this case, and then find the volume in this case. Yes. <laughs> What would be the volume of the smaller cube? Yes. The volume of the smaller cube, this cube. What would be the volume of this one having side A? Yes, Ahmed Arham. Come on, guys! It's a such a simple question. What would be the volume of this cube having the side as A? The so A cube. A cube, no, simply. Okay, <clears throat> and then the volume of the larger one. Yes, sir. Hmm, that would be what. <clears throat> Find that and then tell me what will basically so, what is uh, the change we do we observe? Yeah, that is how much. Uh, it is twenty-seven times. Twenty-seven times, right now, Ahmed. Yes, sir. You also found the same value. Yes, sir. Right I now. haven't. Found You haven't found it yet. Okay, look here. यहाँ पर भी edges की cube होंगे basically we basically multiplied the edges by three times to itself so three a times three a times three a that will be twenty seven a cube. So if we were to compare the original volume of the two, it was a cube. Now it is twenty seven times of a cube. Right, and twenty seven times of a cube. So that is basically what happens. Now back to the questions you were assigned. Um, question number six. You were solving question number six, no, Ahmed. So Arham, you solve question number eight. Okay. Yes, hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Meanwhile, also tell me, like uh, any number that has zero in its unit place, so its square will always end in end in zero or not? Zero. Yes, sir. Zero. zero. Okay. And will the number of zeros uh, will be even or odd? Sir, it will be um. It mm -hmm. will be odd, sir. Why it will be odd? No, 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 no. sir. Even, even, even. Even now, like I ten ka square karta hu, it is hundred na fifteen into fifty. Ha, fifty to fifty. 
नंबर ऑफ जीरोस आई एम गेटिंग विल बी ऑलवेज इन इवन नंबर्स टू है यहां पर सिमिलरली इफ आई वर टू हैव 400 दैट विल बी 1000 फोर जीरोस आर देयर राइट 160000 ओके अहमद डन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स Also, you guys tell me one more thing. Okay, uh, if you guys will be available only, then we can uh, have a class schedule on the upcoming Friday. Okay, now because there's a possibility that uh, on this upcoming Tuesday, okay, I might not be, I will not be able to take the class. Okay. Sir, I'll probably not be available. You will not be available. Okay, yes, okay, that's why I'm asking you here. Okay. <clears throat> so why? Why you guys are taking that much of time? Yeah, Ahmed. In my question. Arham. Ha ha. Yes. In my question, uh, it will be same. In question number eight. Yes, sir. No, there will be no changes. For first part, it will remain same. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this one first. But before we do that, Ahmed, please do tell me regarding question number six. Any progress further? Have you solved it again? Yes, look. Question is of the same nature. The question is of the same nature. Yes, There yes. also you have to find the height basically. Okay, it will also be solved in the uh, using the same method which we applied on the other questions. Okay, so question number eight ka hum one solve kar rahe hain. For question number six na, yes, yeah exactly. Height. height will be three centimeter simply. Question number eight, the first part here, length is now being doubled to two l now, and then height is re remaining same. Yes, sir. And then breadth is now b upon two. So we know that volume. We need to find the volume now. Yeah, l b h होता है simply. So earlier the volume was this one. Now the new volume will be two l into b into h. B upon two. B upon two. So two twos are cancelling. So it basically remains same. Good. Yes, sir. For the second part of it, second one. Three four times. Right. So length is not two l, height is not two l, and breadth remains same. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So earlier the volume was l b h. Now the new volume will be two l into two h into B. Thereby, it basically becomes four times of LBH. Good yes, then. Sir. Right now. Okay. In the same manner, other questions can also be solved. Like, um, question number nine here. Three cubits have been given, and their dimensions are also mentioned in the question. Yes. Sir. And now all of these uh, cubits are melted to form a cube. Find the side of the cube. Such an interesting question. Right. Sir, should I solve? Yeah, uh, try to solve this one. Yeah, yes, Ahmed. You have to find the total surface area, right? No, we need to find the side of cube now. We haven't come to the part. Solution, you have to find the total surface area. To find the. 
no totally here sure. here what is basically happening here we are melting it now hmm. you are melting it now first so first you will need to find the volume of it now oh okay sir okay hmm That one is also a very simple question. Ahmed, are you listening? Is Ahmed in the class, sir? Ham? Sir, I am. Yeah. So Ahmed, I have been repeatedly asking you regarding question number six also. Okay. So, okay, you also solve the same question. Ahmed, question number nine, you also solve. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, actually the next class will be beginning in few seconds. So let me just explain question number nine. आपको करना क्या है ना? You will find the volume of cubite one, volume of cubite two, and volume of cubite three. That yes, gives you how much? Uh, the Whatever. first one will be two hundred ten. Second will be two twenty four, and third will be seven twenty eight. Seventy eight. Seventy eight. So in that, in total amounts to five hundred and twelve cubic centimeter. Right now, and for a cube, the formula. I mean, side to find, करना है ना एक cube का. Yes, sir. 